today I'm going to transform you into the Cheshire Cats from Alice in Wonderland. Does that sound good to you? This is what you're going to be. <gasps> if they can't help you find your imagination, no one can. I'm going to be using non-toxic, hypoallergenic um, children's face paint to do the looks today. So I've got a few of the different colours here, but you can buy these anywhere really, fancy dress shops or on the internet, anything like that. Um, to create this look, I'm actually going to be using brushes. Um, if you wanted to try and do it with sponges, you can do that as well. But I've just bought some quite cheap artist brushes. The Cheshire Cat, if you're not familiar with Alice in Wonderland, is a bit of a cheeky character and he has this big oversized grin. So what you want to do is actually get the child to smile and sort of overdraw where their smile is, first of all. Just to double check that the face paint that you're using is non-toxic and hypoallergenic. Make sure that your child is happy to have their lips painted. I'm using the black face paint and I'm using a fine brush. So you could use anything like an artist brush or an eyeliner brush, anything like that. But what you want to do is kind of sketch out the shape of the mouth and then we're going to fill it in with white face paint afterwards. This is the technique that I actually used when I made Phil Gallagher up as the Cheshire Cat and it worked really, really well. Now what I'm going to do is actually just fill in the mouth with the white face paint. And I'm using this square shaped brush again and it means that you can get right up to where you've done the outline. We're going to do the white stripe down the nose and this is a lot of cats have this sort of look. And if you sort of fan it out into a triangle, this is really, really easy. It's just big blocks of colour and just kind of filling them in. For the next stage we're going to use the bright orange face paint and this is going to go over the eyebrows and it's the cheeks and also the chin area as well. We don't want to get any face paint near the eyes. It's not a difficult thing to do because the brush does most of the work for you. And then a stripe on the chin, some orange coming down onto the cheeks as well. The next step, I'm going to use the bright yellow face paint and this is going to fill in some spaces in the face that we've not filled in already. With this square brush, just print on the shape of the Cheshire Cat and you just need to make sure that you leave the nose bit clear as well because we're going to paint that black like a proper cat's nose. You're basically just filling in all the sort of gappy bits apart from around the eye area. Ooh. The next stage is to add some black detail. I'm going to start with the nose. You don't need to be artistic to do this sort of thing at all. It's dead easy. Okay, we're nearly finished now, but are we still missing something? Whiskers. The easiest way to do it, I think, is to do three dots at the bottom and then do two at the top. One, two. For the Cheshire Cat Whiskers, we've got a couple of options. We've got these fantastic boingy fancy dress whiskers that you can just buy from anywhere. Um, but if you can't get hold of these, we're actually going to draw on some whiskers with the black detailing as well. You just hold your brush over one of the dots and then flick, and we'll do another one, and flick. So I'll pop them on for you, like that. Lovely. Ah, <gasps> now do you look like the cat? Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. That's how you make the perfect Cheshire cat. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBeebies YouTube channel.